mentioned in medical li literature in the 1500s in ancient Egypt, enemas have long been used to promote optimal health and wellness. When your digestive system is sluggish, uh, it essentially fills with waste and that puts a lot of stress on uh, organs like your liver. Over time, that waste will start to harden and form almost like a plaque type substance around your colon. And then that will become the perfect breeding ground for things like bacteria and parasites. Don't believe us? Well, we see this all the time in practice when we x-ray people. We can actually see the compounded fecal matter in their x-rays, which is pretty crazy. So if you're not eliminating at least the length of your forearm in poop every single day, then more than likely you are backed up and an enema would be something that would really help your health. Enemas have so many benefits, but some of them include improved circulation, skin, obviously improving your microbiome. It's great to shed some excess kilos, um, improving your, your regularity when going to the toilet, and also just cleansing your bowel and promoting really good tone in your digestive system. You might be wondering how to actually use an enema, and that is what I'm going to be answering for you today. It's a question that we get asked so much because it is a little bit daunting for people, but what you'll realize is when you give it a go, it's actually much less scary than you might think. So the first thing that you need is of course an enema bag. Something like this, so we have these at the practice um, through the Tyler Tolman website, you can actually get them, so tylertolman.com as well, and we'll put that link in the description here too. But basically, it's really important firstly to get a good quality enema bag, um, and then to have, when filling it up with water, make sure that that water is filtered. If you don't have a filter and that's not possible for you, then simply boil some water on the stove. Now, you wanna fill this bag with warm water, not hot water, otherwise you'll be paying the price when you start to put this water up your bum. Um, and essentially, that water needs to be just the right temperature so that you can submerge your hand comfortably. The first thing that you wanna do is start with a clamp that is closed. So most animal bags will have a little clamp on them. So like this one here, you can simply squeeze it shut. Then you fill the bag all the way to the top to about here with that warm water. After that, you can add some Himalayan salt or sea salt, about a teaspoon is good. You might even want to add a squeeze of lemon, just make sure there's no pips in there. And for those who would like to do a coffee enema, you can also brew some organic coffee on the stove as well. There is so many different enema recipes that you can use. So let us know if you would like some specific recipes for you. Now, once the bag is full, you wanna set up a nice little environment in your bathroom. You do wanna do your enema close to the toilet. That is very important. Put a towel underneath if there is any leakage of water. Um, put another towel under your head for comfort and maybe bring in some nice music, a podcast or a book. And then what you wanna do is slightly elevate the enema bag. So most enema bags will have some sort of hook that you can put on a doorknob or something similar. The higher you have the enema bag, the more forceful the water will come down. So I would definitely recommend to only put it, um, say half a meter high above your actual body for the first time using it. Next, you need to use lubrication. So lubricate your bum and the nozzle as well. And then lay on your side and slightly insert the nozzle nice and gently. You wanna go about that thickness when inserting the nozzle. Slowly put the clamp open and then lay on your side. You should feel the water starting to come through. It shouldn't be very forceful. It should feel quite comfortable. And then when you're ready, you can simply lay back on your back. Bending your knees can also help as well. And basically you just lie there and let gravity do the work. The animal bag will start to empty slowly. It will take around 20 minutes or so to do so. Um, if you're feeling a strong urge to go to the toilet and eliminate, then gently pull the uh, nozzle out and go straight to the toilet, eliminate, and then finish off the rest of the bag. Some people might actually benefit from taking a full bag, eliminating on the toilet, and then doing another enema until the water runs clear. So it's as simple as that. When you're finished, make sure you wash the enema bag well, boil it with some water to disinfect it, and make sure you don't share your enema bags because that is a recipe for disaster. And you can do enemas 
A lot really. Every fortnight or so is a really good general wellness practice. But if you are doing any form of detox or colon cleanse, I would recommend doing it at least once a day to help shift some of that toxic stuff that's coming out of your body. And also if you are unwell or sick, doing an enema can really, really help you recover quicker. So I hope this information has been really helpful for you guys. I'm sure we're gonna get lots more questions on enemas. So if you have a specific question, then feel free to write us a comment, send us an email, comment below, and we will endeavor to get back to you as soon as possible. This is Dr. Jacinta from Open Space Healing. Bye for now.